This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar showing how to use HDR media in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the Range Check feature to protect your highlights in Final Cut. What Range Check does is it warns us when our white levels are too high. Here, for instance, I've created a Rec. 709 project, Rec. 709, and I've applied a Panasonic V-Log clip to it. We can see the clip is grayed out, the black levels are high, the white levels are too low, and the very first thing I want to do, because it's a V-Log clip, is assign a camera LUT. So I open the inspector, and this was shot with a Panasonic, and whoa, the scopes say the white levels are way too high for a Rec. 709 project. But when are they okay? If we go to the viewer and go to the view menu and turn on range check, I can look for excessive luma levels, excessive saturation levels, or both. I'm gonna select all. And you can see from this zebra pattern here that my white levels are excessive over most of the frame. If I go to color grading, I'll just pull my highlights down. Watch not only on the scope, as the white levels decrease, but notice that the zebras are also decreasing until my white levels are safely below 100% and there's no zebras in the image. Range check warns me when my white levels are too high or when they are safe. Well, I can use the broadcast safe filter at the same time. If I open up effects, grab broadcast safe and drop it on top of the clip, notice how broadcast safe instantly clamped the settings if I go back to the inspector, turn off broadcast safe, I can see some warnings from zebras where the white levels are too high. As soon as I turn on broadcast safe, the zebras are mostly gone. Not quite, I got a little bit. So we'll pull the amount down one click, just a little bit, and now we're safe below 100%. Color grading preserves the detail the broadcast safe clamps the white levels, losing the detail in the extreme highlights. If I go back to the color grade and pull the black levels down, we'll make this image look a little bit better and make the picture look richer. And again, the broadcast safe is clamping my whites to make sure that they're not excessive. And if they were, the range check zebras would show that. Again, you can see it. I'll just push this up a bit. Range check does not apply when you're dealing with Rec. 2020 PQ projects, but it does apply when you're dealing with HLG. Let me illustrate. Let's do Command J, modify, and go to HLG. Put our playhead in the middle of the clip. Let's push our white levels up. As soon as they go over 100%, notice the herringbone is back, the zebra right there. I want to pull this back down again. And if I turn on Broadcast Safe, Broadcast Safe clamps it, but clamps it too far. So with HLG, you don't want to use Broadcast Safe because it's going to give you bad results. But you do want to use Range Check to make sure that your white levels are not excessive. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on how to use HDR media in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 273. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.